Well hello internet and welcome to my tutorial on how to install the GNU compiler collection. I've been asked for this tutorial probably about 30 times this week so I decided to show you how to install GCC on both Windows as well as Macs. And also I provide a link in the description if you want to see all of this written out. So I have a lot to do so let's get into it. Okay I'm going to start off with the Windows users out there. What you need to do is go to sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash min g w and once you go there you can just come down here to this nice little download button and click on it and whenever you do that you're going to get the little installer down here just click on it and go open and then this little thing's going to pop up just click on run if you trust that and then click on yes and it's going to open up a little wizard hit next hit next use prepackaged repository catalogs yes hit next accept the agreement hit next put it here this is where you want to put it inside of the c drive and then min gw that'll save you a lot of problems hit next then you need to choose the different compilers you want to use there's c i'm going to get that c++ fortran i don't want objective c i'm not going to use ada i'm not going to use and i'm not going to use any of these other things and i'm going to hit next installing there's all the things hit install and there it is it's installed display the win log nah i don't care hit finish and now that you have that all set up you can do a couple different things I'm going to open this guy up right here and we can go down to all programs. You're going to need your command line. So we're going to go into accessories and look for command prompt. There it is. Open that up. Then after the command prompt is open, what you can do is go set path equal to C and then a backslash and then min G W backslash bin put a semicolon inside of there and then put a percent sign and then type in path and then another percent sign and hit enter then it'll be on your path or if you don't want to do it that way we can do it a different way we can instead go and open up windows and specifically look for the control panel this is windows 7 open that up now that the control panel is open hit system and security then you're going to want to go and click on system and then over here advanced system settings click on that then all this opens up well all we're interested in is environment variables this down here click on that and then you want to come down through here bounce through it until you find path then you want to hit edit and then inside of this at the very end you want to put a semicolon I already did it put a semicolon and then the path to min gw and then make sure you put the bin at the end and that's all you do hit ok and now it is in your path. Now you may have to restart your command prompt if this doesn't work, but then to test that it's installed, you can go GCC forward slash V like that. And if it shows you this, then you know everything is installed. And I actually type in DIR and there's documents inside of my documents folder. I'm gonna type in change directory to documents inside of there, DIR, da da da. C programs right there, change directory to C programs. There's C programs, DIR, and there you can see it actually worked before. I'm just gonna come in here and go GCC. You can use all the same commands I'm using now. Testing is the name of a C file I have. There it is, it compiled, and then I can just type A, and you can see testing GCC, it worked. And that is it. That is all that is to setting up everything inside of Windows. And you can use Notepad, you can use Notepad++, whatever. And that is it. You're ready to go. Now back in the Mac world, things get a little bit more complicated. Actually, really not so much. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to use Mac ports. You just go to macports.org. This is going to make your life so much easier. First thing you're going to need to do, though, is figure out what version of OS X you're using. And here are all the different versions of OS X that are likely to be out there. If you have Tiger, then you're going to be 10.4, Leopard, 10.5, Snow Leopard, 10.6, Lion, 10.7, and Mountain Lion, finally. And how you find out which version of OS X you have, you can bounce up to the Happy Apple logo up here and say about this Mac. And whenever you do, you're going to see, well, in my situation, I have 10.7.5, that's 10.7. And based off this information, that means I have a Lion. Okay, so that's how you figure that out. Now the reason why that is important is you have to install the right version of Mac ports. So we're going to go over here to Available Downloads, click on that. 
and you're going to cycle through all these different versions until you find a version of Mac ports that fits. I have 10.7, Lion, this is what I need. So I need to click on that, DMG, and that opens up on the screen and double click on it. And yes, you wanna continue. And then you're just going to go through this and just keep hitting continue over and over again. Continue, continue, continue. To continue installing, you must agree to the terms. I agree, da 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 da, and so forth and so on. And then finally hit install. Well, I already have Mac ports installed. That's all you need to do is hit install. Everything's going to work. So I'm not going to bother installing it again. And then what you need to do is open up your main computer file there. See Macintosh and go to applications. And then you want to look for utilities, which is in here somewhere. And utilities is going to look like this. Double click on it. And then inside the utilities folder, you're going to see terminal. You want to open that up. And you probably want to save that down on your dock. Then Terminal's gonna open up for you. My computer's named Scarlet, so that's the reason why that's up there. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is type in sudo port self update. And this is going to update Mac ports. And you have to type in the sudo part because it's going to ask for a password, which I just typed in. And then it's going to update. And this could take some time. And there you go. And after it's all updated, you're going to see the ports tree has been updated, da 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 da. Then everything else you're going to do is going to be done inside the terminal from this point onwards. You're going to type in sudo port install, and the current version of the GNU compiler collection is going to be GCC 48. You're going to hit that, and it's going to install it. I'm not going to go through that because I don't think you want to wait. Now you need to, after that all goes through, you're going to want to change the default version of GCC inside of your computer. So you're going to type in sudo port select set GCC mp-gcc and everything should be almost exactly the same. Pretty much the only thing it could change is this 48 at the end. And what this is going to do for you is like I said before, change the default version of GCC across your entire terminal. Then you're going to type in hash GCC and hit enter. You're just going to hit enter every single time after you type in these different things. Then you're going to type in GCC dash V just like you did in Windows if you saw that and all this is going to pop up and that means everything is properly installed if you see a matching GCC 48 down here. And there you go. That is how you install the GNU compiler collection. If you have any questions, like I said before, all this is in text format in the description. Please leave any questions or comments below. Otherwise, till next time.